Hey guys, welcome to Tallaheaton. I started a new farm when the public map came out, and I am just doing nothing but dairy. Probably Holstein cows, but let's go through some things real quick. I'm going to make this short because we're making cookies. It's Christmas Eve. Um, this video will probably come out tonight, and most people won't see it till Tuesday, but you know what? And there's a couple mods in here that came out Christmas Eve. Let me show and uh, let me show you some of those and go from there. But anyhow, we've got the chopper in there cuz well, it's almost nighttime in August and next month we're going to chop. But first we'll have to bell some straw because this 8820 Titan 2 my combine has got some hours on it. Okay, maybe not an hour. 2% damage. Yeah, I've probably got 45 minutes to an hour. I'm running this kind of setup for hay plus square bells. The reason I'm doing round bells, well, you'll see when we get round here. I'm going to run some anhydrous on this map. We're going to the field we just ran some wheat in. We're going to try some fall anhydrous because there'll be corn next year. I'm going to set a nitro link in my in the information down below. This green bit came out by squatching one. It has controls over here to where you can put it in different bins because as you can see, I got 5,335 liters in that small bin right there of those that I ran. And then you can go over here and jump in, start running it, and if you really want to just come over here, you can see it when it starts drying corn where um, the two sit in the 2166 with the 67. Um, once it's done, the propane will probably change, it said. Um, so it's not that wet. I'm going to have a pasture. Dry cows that are not milking will be out here. Lactating cows will be in here, and I'll have a feed room right here. One of the things that came out this week that 46 mods came out with and I loved a lot of his mods is this Val, Val mental feeder which I think would be great and this will be well you'll see where I need to go with that but this will be the feed room pallets of feed and stuff like that anything that's going to calve dry or heifer wise will go into here They'll get used to the free stalls and stuff. I got to fix that. I knew that. But again, this is where I can move the cows back and forth. Now, let's jump into the pasture for the cows. These next two barns. This barn right here is a steer heifer barn that Pleasant Farms on Christmas Eve just dropped. just dropped it on his itch page and I'm going to love using this for my heifers I could put square bells up there and everything works great for this 8090 series the other thing he dropped which don't mind the cornstalk bells in here is his own calf pen which is kind of like one of the barns that's in game but you could do a lot more with it you have a lot of different changing colors and the whole nine yards. The hay barn is right there. That's where the hay will go. I'm using Chevy trucks. This truck just came from Buck. If you watch YouTube with um, Squad and all them, he made this. But it's only on PC, guys. But this truck is a much lot of options, a lot of options, bad options and whatnot. And then that's my everyday driver. I, as I said, this will be quick. I'm just doing it quick to show you. And then next week sometime we'll have a longer video. I'm running Alice New Holland John Deere case equipment. Here's my tillage tractor. Here's my planting tractor. I'm on the row crop version of Tallaheaton County. And... The stars are just coming out, so it's amazing. Next video will come will be in September, and we'll start doing hay, cutting silage, and stuff like that, guys. 
I just wanted to do this real quick and say have a Merry Christmas and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see you again and we'll, they'll see how long this uh, series goes because there's going to be no updates, no changes and I would have nothing to worry about. A couple things I need to fix, the fence. One thing that I noticed and I probably should fix it would be this right here because it can't be taller than the and then the flag. But I like Ohio State, but for this series, I graduated from there with a dairy degree. Again, Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching my channel. And welcome to all the new ones. Tell everyone about it if you want to see some real life dairy farming in Iowa. Have a good one, guys.